And we've got something special going on right here, what you're looking at. We said Decorah couldn't win the state championship. We meant outright. Um, if uh, Ryan Fulsass pins Mike Novak from Cedar Rapids Prairie, they tie Iowa City High for the championship. So it's come all the way down to this. Ah, Ryan Fulsass being made room for by his brother Randy Fulsass going down to 189, as Jim pointed out. And um, now Ryan set up, set the table with a major decision and leaving it so his brother can give him a part of the state championship if he pins Mike Novak from Cedar Rapids Prairie. Now, not going to be an easy thing to do, but Ryan Fulsass is 39-0. and 0. And I tell you what, Tim, these two look like 103-pounders out there. Look at those movements there. Two great athletes. Here we have the other uh, matches. Scott Webb from Sigourney, 38-0. Derek Schumacher from Avoca. Here comes the takedown attempt here by Ryan Fulsass. A lot of action. A lot of action. Oh, Gets the hips down. Tries to cover on top. Just a good scrambler. And he'll keep the pace of this match high the whole time here, Tim. And in 2A, Jake Beach from Maquoketa going against Josh Grube from Cresco, Crestwood in 2A. We're right here. We got a couple of smaller heavyweights. Good looking young men. Ryan Fulsess from Decorah leading 2-0 against Mike Novak from Prairie. Cedar Rapids. You know, you can tell what he wants. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. I think, Woo, I think Ryan knows, okay? Yeah. I mean, he knows he has a chance to bring home some yeah. team hardware here. You see the face protection he has. He's had uh, some problems last year here. He had broke his nose uh, in the tournament, so he wears that. That's why all he the time. knows. Okay, yeah. He does. <laughs> Looks like that's got a lot of wear. Those hockey face masks where you can uh, they put the stitches on it. Working into a half Nelson and a good job of driving and there's and I tell you what, we've got a chance here. Novak almost reached back into him. Would have been a mistake here. He could have taken Mike to his back, so let's just really keep in the pace. He's working, fellas. Let's go. All the way down to heavyweights for the team championship at 3A. City High just waiting to give uh, Novak a letter jacket. City High and Prairie, you know. And, and there's not all that much love lost there. And so they're rooting for it. There's the standings. Iowa City High, 90 points. Decora, 84. And a pin gives them six points. Uh, even uh, the worst mathematicians can add that one up. And look at two out of three of those two of schools there. You know, under, you know, right around 10,000 population base. Yep, yep. So four in Charles City. 84 and six equals 90. That's a tie. We're in the large school division here, 3A. The start of the second period. Fulsis takes down position here. He's gonna pop right up into a stand-up and whoa! Now there's a picture. Yeah. All right. There you go. No wonder he wears that mask. Yep. Kind of okay. took it on the outside of the thigh there. In 1A, scores 0-0 zero, zero with a minute and a half left in the second period. That's between Scott Webb and Derek Schumacher. And in 2A, the score is 6-1. Six 6-1 to one. Six to one in favor of Josh Groove over Jake Beach. Here, Fulsas pops right up into a stand-up again. He's got Novak's leg trapped underneath him. I know he wants to pull that away. You notice how Novak's Left arm is really securing the hold. Green, you gotta work him down, son. Red yep. down. We're gonna call stalling right there in top position. Novak's responsibility at that point once full comes green. to his feet to take him back to the man. Okay, top. Basically clinging. You gotta caution green. Caution green. You can't lay on him, okay? You gotta give him a little room. Caution green. Set. Back up, let him set. Dale Atchison, the official, basically explained the caution, why he called it, and lay on him like that. This is coming up in a stand-up position. Nice front trip here by Novak, and comes into that leg. I think at this stage of the, of, the, of the match, Novak trying to get back into it here is just trying to wear Fulsis down because he do, Fulsis doesn't take a break. He's just going to be this type of pace and he will go till he can't go any longer. 2-0. Fulsas leading, minute and a half left in the second period. 
Same way, you're down. And about five, four starts here. And 30 seconds have expired. Second period. Oh, that's a nice flower ride. He's under the cradle on the far side. He's got that pretty tight. But, but, but nothing. Now he got it tight. That is very tight. Look at the leg lock he has on both legs. He's got the uh, double grapevine in, and that's tight. The only thing that's keeping his shoulders off are the elbows there. Holy cow, what a fight! I'm just saying. This is a fight. This is a what fight. Did I say what he's got to He's He was He's got a... What? It was a bad right knee. It looked like a... Oh go back at an injury time out there. I don't know how they're going to call that. He called injury time. I don't know if you can do that, really. I had three. I had oh. three here, Paul. We'll see if Novak will continue here. I'll tell you what, both those young men can make a case for having the other one Working on the knee of Novak here. And our, our on-the-spot assistant, here's the move. Watch yeah. this, Roger Crimmins says he was calling timeout as he went down. Nice cradle, Not here, locked but, up. Yeah. All right, beautiful cradle. You can see he's getting a count here. There's one, two, Three. And he steps over. Steps over. Now he's got the double grapevine in. Notice how Novak's ankles will come to the inside. He's got that right there. He's got that locked up. Fulsas does do a great job of keeping the... Watch the left elbow. The left elbow of Fulsas keeps his shoulders off the mat. Now, right here, takes his belt buckle. Right here, next oh. move. He's going to try to get his legs up, up over the top. Still up. Still up over the top. Awful close. Awful close, but, but now watch up. this move. No, no belt buckle to the mat. One more time now, he goes the other direction. He pushes his head away. That's really what saves him there. Now, watch the, the knee on the other side. Yep, yep, he went. He's calling time right there. But yeah, but I don't know if you can call time right there. No. Uh, outside the knee, you see the pink colored knee pad there. I'm sure he's legitimately hurt because you can, in that type of scramble situation, anything can happen. What a match. In, oh, in 2A, the winner, Josh Groove from Cresco Prestwood, state champion. In 1A, 30 seconds left, it's 1-0 in favor of Sigourney's Scott Webb, undefeated, 38-0, no, going against Derek Schumacher, 41-4. Nice uh, move technique right there to get the hips out, Swisher away. Creates a hip distance, now that narrows the score to 8-4, to 30 seconds left. Second period now. Both wrestlers showing they got Look at those power. techniques they're trying to execute. Both men are just going at it. This is great. Oh, man. <laughs> Stay in there. Let's go. Let's go. You know, it's just, it's just who's going to be used to wrestling this type of pace? Let's go, right here. I don't know who uh, Mickey Novak is used to wrestling in, there, in that room, but I know Fulsas is used to wrestling his twin brother in the room and at home, over the furniture. Sigourney gets a state Green champion. Ball. Scott Webb what do you want, son? wins 4-0. He finishes yeah. an undefeated year. Walks off the mat Day just four, like, oh, I knew I was going to do it. And picks up his own coach, both coaches. <laughs> yeah. Those heavyweights, they, they don't do want that. them to yeah. jump on you. I think it was a long time. I think our buddy uh, Miller got carried off by Sinlinger when uh, he won the championship. And usually it's the other way around. So. What's the difference between light and heavyweights? <laughs> heavyweights carry their coaches off. Yeah. There's a locked hands call. We got one red. Technical violation, locked hands. One red. Now, this was an unusual choice here, Tim, because Mickey Novak took the top position when it was his choice. Let's go, right Now 9-3. Actually, actually 8-4 to four at the time. Yes. Now it's going to make it 9-4. Looking for that cradle. Now Good here's draw. a escape. Whoa. Right there, it could be something. Oh, Dude. a nice slip. Nice limp arm there. Beautiful technique. Minute and a half to make it happen for Decora. Full sass. 
has to pin to tie for the team championship. He's got an eight point lead. Well, I know Mickey Novak has, has wrestled pretty, you're gonna have to catch him here because he's a pretty salty wrestler here. He's, he didn't come this far to go ahead and give up a fall in this situation. It'll be real tough to go ahead, but notice how the pace Red, is slowed a little bit. Son. Okay, let's go. Dale Atchison makes a stall call. Roger Williams right hey, there standing up. The Shoot. head coach of Decorah, great year for him. Contending great. right down to the final great. match for the state championship. You got set when you're set, okay? You see the signal there. He hey. wants a uh, full set to drop That's in on an ankle. Caution, okay? Cover. And then work on the wrist and maybe take the arm behind the back, thread the needle type technique. We'll see if Fulsas hits it. He's got the wrist tied up. Here, we need a pin. He's got a minute He's to got do it. Locked up. He's got it locked up. Oh, man. Nope. Uh, and that's that strength of Novak you're talking about. He's yeah. not going to give it up. One red. Warning green. Now it's interesting here. Keep the action going here. Bolsa. You don't want to stay behind right there. Exactly. You, you think that you'd want... Now, now, there he goes. Bow and arrow cradle there. Set up. But I think... Keep working, fellas. Let's both go. athletes Keep are working. getting a little bit arm-weary here. And who can blame them? We watched the pace through the first half of this match, and that's it's taking its toll right here. Back to center. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wants a freestyle start and come out front, use the power half Nelson and just go out front. And why not? If he just stays off his back, no even star. gives up a five-point move, it'd only make it 13-9. So freestyle start. Get back. Chin. Right there. There. You can give it all you got right there. Yep. 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 And Novak just limps out of it here, which is wise. And, and he's gonna get five points which is going to leave them one point short of the state championship, just like New Hampton was. Two, two great, two great races. Yeah. Wow. In single A, they, uh, they fought it out for second and third, and in double A and in uh, triple A, they fight it right down to the final few matches, the final match in 3A. Now you're going to see a celebration of two twins, because this is the, uh, I remember last year, there you go. There they are. They showed up. <laughs> that family <laughs> stuff. The award stand. The award stand area at the east end of the auditorium. Presenting the Class 1A 180. Heavyweight. Class A, Scott Webb of Sigourney waited until the final period, but he put together four points there, an escape, a scalding point, and a takedown for nothing over Derek Schumacher of Avoca, Hancock, Shelby, and Tennant. The champion is Scott Webb. Tim? Well, here we are at the heavyweight, the award stand. Presenting the 1A heavyweight awards, Coach Jeff Kirby of Sigourney. Sixth place, Carl Christensen, Ogden. Fifth place, Bill Coleman, Garner Hayfield. Fourth place, Bill Stewart, True Arrow I-35. Third place, Mark Lander, Underwood. Runner-up, Derek Schumacher, Avoca HT. And the Class 1A Heavyweight champion from Sigourney, Scott Webb. Jack Smith's proud Hall of Fame coach who's been there at Sigourney for a long time. He said, watch that heavyweight from Sigourney. So there you go, Jack. Presenting the Class 2A Heavyweight Awards, Coach Doug Hatch of Presco Crestwood. Sixth place, Dan Kyle, Grinnell. Fifth place, Kyle Wellington, Louisa Muscatine Letts. Fourth place, Dennis Anderson, Glenwood. Third place, Tom Conlon, Humboldt. Runner-up, Jake Beach, Makokata. And the Class 2A Heavyweight Champion from Cresco Crestwood, Josh Gruby. And in two-way competition, your heavyweight champion is Josh Grube of Cresco Crestwood, as he was just announced there, as he pinned Jake Veach 
of Makokara with 36 seconds remaining in the second period. And that was quite a move. Woo. How about that? Let's go back to you, Tim. Hey, that's one of those ooh. Oh, I want to see that again. Ooh, ah. Let's go to the awards stand. Presenting the Class 3A Heavyweight Awards, Coach Roger Williams of Decora. Sixth place, Nick McTee, Mount Pleasant. Fifth place, Wade McLeod, Muscatine. Fourth place, John Faw, Pleasant Valley. Third place, Chris Blair, Urbandale. Runner-up, Mike Novak, Cedar Rapids Prairie. And the Class 3A Heavyweight Champion from Decora, Ryan Polsas. Two champs for Decora, for Coach Roger Williams, the Fulfast brothers. And now to Mo Kelly for tonight's team trophy presentations.